Hey, how's it going guys? Wonderful here, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the newest scripts for Blocks Fruits. And as you can see, these are the four best ones right here, but I'm going to have even more working scripts in the description for you if you're looking for them. And if you've never used scripts before, if, or if you just don't know how to use them, I'm going to have a tutorial video in the description as well for you that's going to show you how to get an executor and how to use the scripts on it. But anyway, starting over here on the newest updated script that's called Halo Hub. This script has no keys on it, it has a really smooth auto farm. They have a bounty farm as you can see right here, some PvP features, some fruit stuff, and a lot more. But starting off on the main tab, this is where you have all your auto farms. So as you can see right here, you can auto farm for any of these things, so like Doe King, Full Moon, you could do your race v4 farming. And I mean, you guys scroll down here for days. Honestly, there's so much stuff on here. But yeah, most of the stuff is going to be on the main tab, like your mastery farm and stuff. But yeah, as you can see, all you have to do to start the auto farm is disable auto rejoin, click on fast attack, and then just select your weapon and start the auto farm. And here's what it looks like. If you can't tell, it's putting you underneath the map when it's on cooldown so you don't die. And I've absolutely never been reset with this after the new update, so it's completely safe. I got from like level 400 to level 737, and I'm not even banned yet. And this is with a fast attack on. You can also disable fast attack if you want to be even more safe, but I think this is pretty good. Yeah, as you can see, this is what it looks like. I'm going to disable it now. Of course, all these scripts have their own auto farms on them. So for example, on Atomic Hub, which is another pretty good GUI with no keys on it. Over here, if you click on Bring Monster, that's going to be your Bring Mob. Click on Dark Blade and then Auto Farm Level. And as you can see, it is a little bit more laggy, but it does work completely fine. It's pretty fast. And then as I mentioned earlier, you also have a pretty fast mastery farm on here. So as you can see right here, you select your mode. So I could do fruit mastery on my Buddha or gun mastery or something like that. And as you can see, if I come over here now and click on the auto farm for mastery, it's going to bring over here to these mobs. It's going to get them pretty low with my sword and then it's going to kill them with the Buddha. I guess this is a pretty bad example because as you could tell right here, I actually don't even have any of these abilities unlocked, so I would have to be in my transformation the whole time. So all these GUIs actually have a thing where you could just come over here, click on Devil Fruit Shop, and then I can come over here and show you it with a actual fruit. So like a leopard. There we go. Now I have leopard. And now I can show you guys the mastery farm. So we come over here now, scroll back up to the mastery farm, which is right here. Start it. And as you can see, now it's going to start using my fruits abilities after it like finishes. So it is leveling up my leopard a little bit, but of course it's not as fast as it could be since I don't have every single thing leveled up fully. And on top of that, if you come over here and look at my stats, I actually have uh, only level one on my fruit, so I should probably level this up. Whoa, there we go. So we just got like about 10 or five mastery levels there, and that's with just like the default mastery farm enabled. So let's see how this works now. Oh, who is that? All right, there was some guy over there. I don't know what he was doing, but I guess we're dead now. Anyway, speaking of stats, as you can see, well, I, I don't actually have any stats right now, but if you come over here to the stats tab, you can automatically uh, level up your stats, which is something that's, of course, pretty useful. So if you want to split them, you could do like one point on each and then just select two different stats. It's pretty cool. It's going to evenly distribute them through there. Or if you're just trying to level up one stat, which is what I'm doing on this account, I'm just trying to get my sword maxed out. So I have a uh, maxed out sword. I would click on this and then max this out. But yeah, either way, still pretty cool feature there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you that because, I mean, I don't have any points. Here is all your details about your account. And then here you have the combat tab, which has some pretty cool stuff on it. Let's show you the uh, PvP. So let's find some guy here. You could spectate him. I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay, here we go. So I'm spectating this guy. And now if we want to, we can teleport to him. So just like this, it's going to teleport you way over there to him. I'm going to turn that off though, because I can tell he's pretty far away. Oh wait, never mind. He's actually right here, so I can show you it. We're just going to teleport straight up to him. You can also auto farm him. So let's go over here now. And it should just start killing him. There we go. We just got a kill. Oh, that was a kill on the boss. Never mind. Here, let's see if I can kill this guy. Let's teleport to him. Oh, PvP disabled. Okay, let's try this. Enable PvP. And auto farm player. And we should be able to kill him now. I don't know if he has like some like extra health or something, but hopefully we should be able to. I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, I'm not going to try to kill this guy. He's a pretty skilled player. But yeah, as you can see, we have the uh, aimbot. So if you want to aimbot someone, you could PvP people and then zoom into first person and lock on your skills onto them. And then you also have the uh, FOV slider for that if you want to change it so you can make it like easier or harder. So this is going to be like you could they could be anywhere in this circle and they're going to get hit by it. Or I can make it like this a lot harder. 
And of course, the smaller it is, the more legit it looks. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I have nothing in my health points. Yeah, my defense stat is pretty garbage. But yeah, either way, pretty cool. You have the PvP features. And then here's the bounty farm, which is actually extremely overpowered. It's going to server hop and automatically farm your bounty up. And you can also lock it at a certain amount. So if I only want to get, uh, what is this, 6 million right here? 6.25 million. I could do that. And then you click on start bounty lock and then you could also start the bounty farm from here this script also has a bounty farm on it by the way and over here you also have the teleport so you could teleport anywhere you want so the first c second third c or the sea beast area you could also teleport to any of these areas here so the cafe it's bringing us all the way over here to the cafe now and we're here and then of course you also have your uh, where's it right here the dungeons tab so for raids and stuff and what is this fruit doing here that's a pretty trash fruit. I'm just going to drop it. Um, we also have the all these different settings for dungeons. I'm not really going to waste your time making you look at that. Here's the fruit tab. As you can see, it's fruit sniper. Pretty simple. You just come over here and click on any fruit. So let's do ice. Auto buy fruit sniper. And now we have ice. We could do that for another fruit. Let me show you with uh, kilo. Boom. Now we have kilo. Let's try it with uh, something better. Let's do... Again, I don't really know why my... Um, I don't know why my scroll wheel isn't working right now. Maybe it's because of these other scripts loaded up. Let's try chop. Boom, now we have chop. And don't worry, I did not just get rid of my fruit. I, I have it still over here. Let me just equip it. There we go. You can automatically grab all the fruit in the game. So if there are any fruits spawned in, you can get them. And over here on the miscellaneous tab, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, over here you have your ESPs. So I can see fruits through the map. Looks like there aren't any in my server. You could see players, so I could see all these people through the map. There's that guy, there's that guy, that guy. You could see islands' names and how far away they are. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Oh, my PvP is disabled. You have the chest ESP, which is... I don't know why the text is so big, but it does actually work. So which chest is the closest to me? I think it's that one right there. So we're coming up pretty close on it, and it should be right around this corner. There we go, we got our chest. So kind of a low amount of belly. If you really did want to get a bunch of cash from farming uh, chests, you would have to go over here to one of these scripts and come over to the chest farming area mode. I don't know where that's going to be on here. Yeah, it is on most of these GUIs. And yeah, that's all that there is on this script. So now I'm going to show you guys the other script. So for example, Atomic Hub. Move this out of the way. Yeah, Atomic Hub, Atomic Hub has a decent auto farm. I think I already showed you guys this. And then if you scroll down even more, they have their mastery farm. They have some auto... Uh, weapons over here bosses let's see how the boss farm works here so i'm probably on the 850 boss let's try this guy it should bring us all the way over here to him and then start farming him so he's actually probably pretty far away all right i have no idea what's going on in my character right now let me just disable this that was pretty buggy i guess you just have to like reset it or something i don't know if this is an anti-cheat bypass or what but it looks pretty weird and now we're dying in the water. So yeah, just do not use the boss farm on this script. It's completely just just buggy and bad. But we just got a new title, The Troll. I don't know what that's from, but maybe it's rare. I have no idea. Here's the auto weapons, as you could see. Auto fighting styles. Stats, bounty, I already showed you guys that. And here's the a dungeon farm, which actually has a little bit more settings than the other script. And for some reason, they actually have the teleports tab, like the warp tab on here as well so you can click on this teleport here go to the cafe for example pretty fast teleport and we should be here in a couple seconds there we go you can teleport or not teleport to the shop but you can automatically buy stuff from the shop so let's buy a black leg we got our black leg we could buy electro again and i don't know why it's zero dollars let's try buying the electric claw okay i guess i don't have enough for that let's try the black cape did we get that Okay, I'm not sure where that would have went. Let's buy the katana. That's not really working. Oh, there we go. We got our iron mace. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't really play this game enough to know what all these weapons do. But I'm pretty sure that's just a little kind of a trash weapon, to be honest. I don't know what this guy's doing following me around the whole game. You have the devil fruit shop, which is where you can snipe fruits like the other script had. Boom, we snipe chop. This guy kind of looks like a pet simulator X pet the way he's following me around. Let's see if I can go over here. Come on, pet, follow me. And he follows me. Here you go, you also have the auto eat fruit. You can open up the devil fruit shop from here. Let's re-equip my fruit right there. 
And I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all there is on this script that's unique. And again, I'm not going to waste your time and like keep on repeating myself with all these different features. So I'm only going to really like explain stuff that you would need to know or stuff like like this where they have like settings. So you have like you might want to do bring mob, which is going to automatically group up all the mobs into one area. But the, the main reason you would not want to enable this is for safety because their new anti cheat detects how fast you're leveling up and they might know that. If you scroll down, you could also enable a player hitbox so I could like hit people from further away. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all there is in this script that's unique. They're all basically the same. One thing on here that you might need an explanation for is going to be the webhooks. So if you do make a Discord server and then come over here and paste in the webhook URL, you can save all your information, send all the different updates that are going on in the game to there. And then here's just the delay between the amount of times or how fast in seconds it's going to send you the updates. Here's your Delford shop you can open. You can open up your inventory through inventory. And I mean, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you can. And as always, peace.